Welcome to this 10-minute yoga practice for period pain, or pain during your menstrual cycle. My name is Joelle, and I would recommend having one or several pillows with you today just for additional comfort. And once you're ready, meet me on the mat in child's pose, keeping the knees together, sitting back towards your heels, arms alongside the body. And you can either rest the forehead to your pillow or possibly to the mat. Close the eyes here and begin to tune into your breath, feeling the compression of the womb space against the upper legs. So I know firsthand how uncomfortable it can be at certain periods during our cycle. And I hope that like me, you'll find that some gentle stretches can really go a long way towards finding a little bit of relief and just getting the body moving again. So breathing deeply in and out through the nose, nourishing the entire body. And once you're ready, we can slowly lift back up, roll the shoulders back. And come to sit on your pillow, bringing the soles of the feet together into a butterfly pose. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll transition towards deer pose by gently assisting the right foot back behind us. And you might like to close the left foot towards the right thigh, or you can take it further out forwards. And let's simply turn to face down our left knee. You might like to sit up tall, or maybe on your next exhale, begin to walk your fingertips forwards, coming into a gentle forward fold. Again, just a little bit of compression here, feeling a release in the lower spine, maybe in the hips as well. And thanking yourself for taking just 10 minutes today to Work on helping yourself feel better. And let's lift on up, keeping the legs as they are. We'll take a gentle twist towards the right. You might like to place the left hand towards your right knee. Looking over the right shoulder, crown of the head still reaching tall. Wonderful. We'll come back to center, bring the soles of both feet back together, knees out wide. Find your butterfly, propping yourself up on fingertips or flat palms behind you. Lifting the heart. And again, thinking about those nourishing deep breaths flowing in and out through the nose. And we'll come to deer pose on the second side, gently helping that left foot back towards your left hip. Facing down your right knee, maybe closing that right foot towards left thigh if you'd prefer and possibly adding on by folding forwards. And this is a posture that might feel quite different on the second side. Perfectly normal, just something worth observing. And let's lift on up and we'll take that gentle twist towards the left, looking over that shoulder. Right fingertips resting on your left leg, left fingertips behind you. And 
and coming back to center. Very nice. Soles of both feet back together. Find your butterfly. You can hold still here. Or maybe take some little wiggles with the knees. And you're welcome to stay there or come into a supported malasana or yogi squat by placing the soles of the feet on the mat. And I like to kind of wrap my arms around the knees and clasp the hands in front of the chest. This is one of my favorite poses for period pain. And it can be really nice to do with your back against a wall too if you need a little bit more support. We're adding perhaps another pillow or two under your seat. And again, just closing the eyes here and breathing deeply. And we'll come to lie down on our mats now, still keeping the pillow underneath your hips and lower back. Extend through the left leg and gently pull the right knee in towards your chest. You can hold on with both hands, either in the front of the shin or in the back of the thigh. And you might even like to sway that knee a little bit from side to side. And then guiding that right ankle on top of the left knee, bringing left foot flat to the mat. And just encouraging that right knee away from the body. And again, I like to rest my hands here over the stomach, over that womb space, just to bring a little bit of additional consciousness to that area that may be needing it a little bit more these days. And then we can uncross that right ankle, straighten the right leg out. As you pull the left knee in towards the chest, maybe holding still or rocking it softly from side to side. Maybe even taking it around in a few small circles. And then right foot comes flat to the mat, left ankle over the opposite knee. Maybe again returning the hands to the low belly, feeling it rise and fall with those deep breaths. And then gently uncrossing those legs, bringing both feet flat to the mat so you can lift up the hips and remove the pillow. And if you'd like, you can then shift the pillow underneath the upper back and the rib cage and bring your hands into kind of a diamond shape with the thumbs and the index finger. Extending through the left leg again and bringing the sole of the right foot to the inside of that left leg. And that might be to the inner left thigh or inner left calf. You choose. Just letting that left knee fall open. Feeling a gentle opening. And we'll switch sides, extending right leg out, sole of the left foot, coming to the inside of the right leg, letting the left knee drop. Noticing again if perhaps one side feels tighter or creates a different type of sensation. And let's bring both feet flat to the outer edges of the mat, a little bit wider than hips width. Letting the knees fall in together into a knock-kneed position. Still keeping the hands 
on that lower belly and breathing deeply here. And this is where I'll leave you today, yogis. If you'd like to spend 10 more minutes on the mat today, I do also have a practice of yoga for pelvic pain, which I will link down below and which would complement this one nicely. I do hope that this has helped you find some relief, and I applaud you for your practice today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that we can meet on the mat again very soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day.